Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at a couple of things you can do in Cubase to manipulate a sample's tempo when Cubase doesn't get it quite right. So this isn't an uncommon occurrence, let's put it like that, but it doesn't happen all the time, but quite often you do need to manipulate what it does. So just going to open up Media Bay. And in here you can see I've got uh, some samples. So here I've just got some samples that I've downloaded. And one of them is this guitar one, which I'm going to import. So this is from the R Loop Stay at Home sample pack they gave out when uh, the world shut down for a while. So let's just have a quick listen to it. So, you know, pleasant enough, a guitar sample. Now, if we import that, so there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can drag it on or you can double click it. I'm going to drag it on because then it will be on a track which is named completely the wrong way. Always copy file to project folder, no matter what. Um, let's just tick that. So there it is, and it will play. And if I've got the click turned on, you will hear it's uh, it's nearly right, but it's not quite. So that, that nearly loops, but it's just not quite right. So a couple of things you can do. Firstly, sometimes you don't want it to change the tempo. So we're at 130. This is at 117. Sometimes you import a loop and you don't want it to change the tempo. And you can just turn that on and off here. So you see on the info line, you've got musical mode. You just flick that. And then the little wave disappears because it's not being manipulated by Cubase and it no longer plays it. But Cubase, when you import any audio, it tries to work out what the tempo, the bass tempo of the audio is, and it doesn't always get it right. Sometimes it's because people have maybe not trimmed the sample exactly perfectly, etc. So we can take a look at that, we can change that tempo, and then Cubase will play it a little more accurately. So if we go and look in the pool, which is under media, so open pool window with the shortcut of command P or control P, which obviously is print in every other program ever, but never mind. Go and have a look at that. Let's just drag that over here so it's a little small but we've got this musical tab here which is exactly what you're turning on and off here so if i turn that off and then we go back to the pool you'll see that's there and vice versa if i can turn it on and off here and that's what that does so nothing particularly exciting there the exciting thing is this tempo part here so it says that the tempo is 117.44 which i don't think it is I think it's 117 because that's what they say it is. So you can change it here. And if you look at this area, when I hit enter, in fact, let's let's not do that. Let's zoom in a bit. Let's just zoom in and see what happens here. So if I go back to there, if we change it to 117, you see it's much closer. It's not perfect, but it's better. It was further out before. So if we play it now with a click turned on, So that's that's now acceptable. It's a bit janky, it's a bit late, etc. coming around, but often you find, you know, guitarist, isn't it? Uh, for the record, I'm a guitarist, so, so I'm allowed to say that. That's the way that works. Yeah, so you can just manipulate that tempo to get it right. So say often Cubase will misinterpret the tempo of something it imports, even if it's written in the file name, that doesn't mean anything. So you can just edit it in there. And then obviously from here, you can use all your other sample manipulation techniques, but often you just want to get it working or roughly working quickly. And that's how to do it in the pool window. As ever, hope you found that useful and we'll see you again soon for more Music Tech Tuition.